So today, we're talking about some really cool research, and that is nasal glucagon. So let's get to it. All right, so what does glucagon do? Well, many of you recognize this kit right here to my right. And this kit, uh, to many, is fairly intimidating. We've talked about it in another video. This is the glucagon rescue kit, and this is the kit that's used uh, when there's severely low glucose levels, <clears throat> meaning somebody is unconscious or having a seizure or simply can't help themselves. As review, glucagon is a hormone that tells the liver to put sugar in the bloodstream so that glucose levels rise. And again, the only treatment we have right now when glucose levels are so low is this kit right here, which means that you have to take the liquid that's in the syringe, mix it with the powder, draw it back into the syringe, and administer an intermuscular injection. That's pretty uh, frightening for many parents. So what's on the horizon? Nasal glucagon. This is a powder. It's, uh, it's delivered in the form of a nasal spray, but it is a powder, and it's used to treat severe hypoglycemia, and it has one-step delivery. Imagine that. None of the mixing, none of the injecting. This is like a nasal spray that you'd pick up in the supermarket. In one shot, it's delivered into the nose. So, how far along is the research? Because I know many of you are out there thinking, I want me to get my hands on that. Well, here's the deal. The pivotal trials have been completed in pediatrics and adults, and that's good, because usually we start with adults and move down to pediatrics. Some of the pediatrics trials were actually conducted here at the University of Florida, and you can read about them here uh, in this paper, which is back on the MDAD site. It is as, as effective as the standard injection. It does take effect a little bit more slowly, but I will tell you there is a lot less nausea with this nasal form of glucagon that, again, is easier to administer. And how do we know it's easier to administer? Well, there was something called human factors research done, and that means how do people use this compared with the other older form, the injectable form of glucagon? And the answer is it's a lot easier to use. People make fewer mistakes, they get it right, and they deliver the right drug. So that's exciting stuff. So where are we still? Well, this was developed by a small Canadian company called Leucemia. The drug was then purchased by Lilly, one of the big guys, to bring it, uh, to commercialize it and bring it to market. So when's it available? Let's cut to the chase. I don't know, but it is probably coming soon. The next step is the process with the FDA to get it approved. A lot of the research has been done, maybe 2017, but as you know, I can't make any promises, but this is very exciting research to keep your eye on. You can read about both the human factor studies and the, the clinical trials, there are links back uh, as soon as this video ends on the MDAD site. Thank you for listening, and we'll bring you more research news soon.